Barriers to change. Making changes in your life can be hard for many reasons. Not only because of practical problems, like not having enough money, transport issues, a lack of help in your area, but also because we as humans can talk ourselves out of things very easily. Our negative thoughts can be a barrier to us changing and often create a whole load of excuses about why you can't or shouldn't make that change right now. This could be putting off going to the gym or a new diet or telling yourself you'll fail if you try something new. Breaking down these barriers is essential to being in control of your own life. It's worth taking a look at your barriers to changing and being honest with yourself before you even start. So let's look first at what's standing in your way. In your workbook, write down a list of people that are negative influences and tend to lead you to negative behavior you want to give up. Who are they? How do they affect you? What could you do to distance yourself from them? Don't be surprised if you have people around you that say negative things about you trying to change. Often, it's nothing personal. It's usually more about them. They may worry that if you change, what does that say about them that they haven't? They may fear you leaving them if you change, or they may just not understand yet why changing could be better for you. Moving on, let's look at practical barriers to you changing. Write a list of what's holding you back. For example, money, transport to get a job, gym, lack of time to yourself due to work or children, etc. How could you find ways around each one? Next, let's look at you. What negative self-talk and excuses are you likely to come up with? Write down 10 excuses you use to avoid making a change today. What could you tell yourself to destroy each excuse? You need to be stronger than your strongest excuse. Lastly, let's look at external factors preventing you from changing. Government policy, the benefit system, the local job market, institutional racism, prejudice and discrimination, the stuff that's around you that's holding you back that you can't control. Write a list of what external barriers affect you. Then think about and write down how you could get around these issues or manage to still change despite them. It is important to be positive and not have a victim mentality. People who constantly blame the system give too much power over to external forces in their lives. Empower yourself with the knowledge that ultimately you have control over your own life and you are able to make it better and to overcome barriers with a positive attitude. Now that you've worked on identifying your barriers, you are prepared for what you will face when you try to change. Being prepared means you can plan ahead and make sure you succeed despite your barriers. Feel empowered by the knowledge that only you can control your life and you can change it.